Hello, my name is Morgan Adams, and I'm with Ashley Wilson, my client, and I'm going to be looking through his um, health screening test results compared to normative data. So the first test that we did was the blood pressure test. Um, this is with the sphygmometer. Uh, in this test, you scored 141 over 71, and this will put you into the pre-high blood pressure margin on normative data. So um, because it's pre-high blood pressure, it's not quite high, uh, high blood pressure yet, so there's, there's, um, there's no real um, immediate worry that you should have. But um, just to lower that blood pressure, you may want to change some of your foods to, from high fat foods to low fat foods to lower the cholesterol levels. Um, you can get some sort of butters and that, that you can use on your spreads that will uh, lower that for you. Um, also, for the time being, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't suggest that you did some uh, high intensity training for long periods of time because it could um, increase your blood pr pressure and you could um, have some problems with that with your health because of that. Um, the second test that we did was for the heart rate. You scored 62, and this puts you into the average um, category on normative data. Oh, sorry, that that puts you into the good category. Um, so obviously, um, being above average, that gives you a benefit in, in your sport as football because uh, uh, your blood uh, is being pumped out of the body because your heart is beating faster per minute, more times per minute than uh, your opponents maybe. So um, this will give you a benefit. Uh, to improve this, uh, you may want to do some cardiovascular training, for example running or, or spinning because that will make your, your cardiac muscle stronger, meaning you can pump blood. Um, more, f more efficiently, meaning less pumps per minute, giving you a better score. Uh, the third test that we did was the peak flow test, and uh, you scored 480, which was an average result. So uh, that's good. That it sh shows that um, you can inhale and exhale a lot of um, oxygen um, at one time. That also means that um, that will benefit you in your games such as football because your breathing is less um, hard for you to do, it just comes more naturally to you. Um, so, when, whereas some people may be panting and using a lot of energy to breathe, you'll be using less energy, therefore saving energy, which you can use in different parts of uh, uh, the football game. And the last test that we did was the body mass index. This tested um, a comparison for your weight and your height. You, got, you scored 23, which was in the healthy weight category. Um, this is good because it shows that your health to weight ratio is is a uh, positive, and um, that is just the overview of your normative data results. Thank you. This is my second client, Josh Farley. I've chosen him because they they do um, contrasting sports. My first client was a swimmer. He uh, does long distance swimming, um, and Josh does Josh plays cricket. I can expect from these results to see um, a less aerobically trained athlete in Josh from Ashley because um, in a game of cricket it's fairly stop start and you won't be running at a constant pace throughout the whole game. So the first test that we did again was the blood pressure test. You scored 135 over 73. So this puts you into uh, just past the, or just inside the pre-high blood pressure area. So again, as I said to Ashley, you just need to change some of the foods in your diet, for example, the butter. Um, you can get some different low cholesterol butters and uh, just little, you can make different adaptations to your diet to help you lower the cholesterol in your blood and the blood pressure. This will benefit you in the long run because um, it lessens your chances of uh, having problems with um, heart attacks and so on. But obviously yeah. you don't have to worry about that just yet because it's pretty high blood pressure. Um, the next step that we did was the heart rate. Josh scored 72, that puts you into the average uh, section. So obviously this will allow you to play on a level playing field with everyone when you're when you're playing cricket, mm -hmm. and um, it will allow you to be running at that constant pace throughout the whole game. Whereas some players may fatigue earlier than you. Yep. Um, the third test that we did was the peak flow test. You scored 390. Mm -hmm. That puts you just below average, but um, that's not not a lot to worry about because this is. This shows how much you can exhale at one time, at one in yeah. one breath. So for you, it would just mean that you're breathing slightly more often than somebody like Ashley who was breathing, um, who um, had a higher score. 
he can exhale the carbon dioxide from his from his uh, system sooner than you can. It's not so much a problem, but it just means that you will lose a little bit more energy while you're breathing. And um, yeah, this won't affect you too much, but it may be something that you want to work on by um, maybe working in altitude situations. It allows you to intake more oxygen and exhale more um, carbon dioxide and also you know, get rid of that lactic acid and make you play for longer. And the last test that we did was the BMI. We scored 21 and again this shows that you have a healthy weight. Um, there's no, no concerns with that at all. Um, it looks like it's all pretty healthy. Okay. And um, this again it shows you the health to weight ratio. And then as such, so um, this will benefit you when you know competing against other people in football. Thank you.